Hello and welcome back to Car Rental University. I am your host, Alex Withrow. Today I'm gonna to talk about, are car rentals a viable side hustle? A lot of people out there are always searching for new side hustles, and I'm gonna get into why I think that this is a great option for a side hustle in 2022. Before I get into that, click below, grab the five things you must do before you start a car rental business. Lots of great information in there. Give this channel a subscribe. We're always talking about things and issues related to the car rental industry for beginners as well as people who are more experienced. So let's get into it. So I talked to a couple of my guy friends recently and I said, if I was gonna tell you, you should get into car rentals, what would be your um, concern? What would be the things that would make you think twice about getting into car rentals? And there's four things that I got back from them that were key points of concern. And here they are. Number one, capital. We have to put too much money down to get into this, all right? Number two is liability. What happens if someone crashes the car? Can I get sued? Um, number three, is it profitable? And then number four, the time commitment. How much time is this gonna take if this is a side hustle? So, you know, it's interesting because when I talked to my friends about this, they thought that to get into the car rental game, you would need at least 10,000 bucks for a car, maybe more, and that's just one car, and it wouldn't be profitable or break even for a while. And to be fair and to be honest with you guys, that's completely not true. I did not, when I first started this, I didn't have, I didn't put down barely any money. I mean, honestly, I probably started out with about a thousand bucks. So um, I had, you know, a, uh, a financing deal that was cool with car sharing. Uh, as far as I knew, I, I did tell the broker that I was planning to use the car for car sharing. So I let him do whatever he needed to do behind the scenes. But as far as capital invested down, it was about a thousand bucks. So I was cash flow positive almost instantly within the first month. Um, liability, you know, nowadays, you know, five years ago, if you were doing this, the, the, the liability was kind of a problem and issue. And, you know, there weren't as many insurance products designed to um, accommodate this type of arrangement, you know. So back five years ago, we had, you know, Airbnb was doing this with um, apartments and houses, but they had a million dollar, um, you know, liability insurance policy. When you are uh, renting out cars, you know, it's a little different, it's a little more riskier. But now, you know, between Turo, Get Around, or Hire Car, you have a uh, $750,000 liability policies all the way up to a million dollar policies, just like Airbnb. So nowadays, you know, if you're running your cars through a third party platform, you definitely have a, a safety net in terms of liability. And if you're running your cars in private agreements, um, you know, you're gonna have a safety net as well in terms of having those cars insured, probably most likely through uh, the renter's insurance. So uh, is it profitable? Yes, right away, yes, it's profitable right away. Um, you know, we've talked about before on this channel, you know, how much you should get your car loan at, uh, and how much you should be paying monthly. Obviously, ideally, it's, it's ideal to put down cash, but you don't have to. If you're starting this out and you just wanna kinda dip your feet into this, you don't need to put ten dollars or $20,000 down. Um, I recommend just starting out with a, a, a financing loan or lease that um, is designed for car sharing, and you can get your you know feet wet in this business and this industry for 500 to 1,000 bucks. It's really not that bad. So, uh, you know, in terms of profitability, um, obviously I would recommend starting out in the spring or summertime when demand is fantastic. Um, but, you know, I typically, um, you know, my cars, I expect them to gross in revenue a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars per month. That's pretty standard. And so, um, if that is your revenue, you should get that, uh, it, you know, it should be profitable right away and, you know, you should get your initial investment back very quickly. And then lastly, time commitment. Um, what kind of time commitment does it take to run car rentals as a side hustle? Uh, not much. <laughs> um, now, I'll say this, that, you know, if you've been in this game for a long time, like I have, if you're working with certain platforms clientele, it's gonna be more of a headache than other platforms. So, um, you know, when I first started, I was working with uh, uh, TLC and Uber drivers up in New York City. Um, a lot of them were fine and I got them through referrals from other friends who were in the industry. Um, I did, after that, 
you know, get a lot of drivers through hire car. Uh, as you've heard me say many times on this site or on this channel that I don't really like working with hire car drivers. Uh, and I, I try to not work with them as much as possible now. Uh, and then, you know, for my taste personally now, I like working with get arounds, clientele, and on occasion, Turo. Uh, but I've talked about this uh, on this channel extensively before that, you know, all the different uh, clientels have their own flavor and taste and what, and their own preferences. But in terms of time commitment, um, it's not a lot. It's really not a lot. Um, you know, per car, I'm maybe devoting an hour, maybe hour and a half a week. Um, that's, you know, every now and then you have incidents and crashes and whatnot. But, you know, I mean, that that's not the end of the world. Uh, typically, there's a crash, you know, the insurance is sorting it out. It's in the shop. You got to move the car. That's it. So um, overall, um, the, the time commitment is not a lot. So that said, if you are someone who is, um, you know, new to side hustles and you're trying to figure out something to do in 2022, I, I definitely highly recommend a car uh, for a side hustle. I think you can easily profit uh, 700 to 1,000 a month just from, the, uh, just from the car. So all that said, give this channel a subscribe, click below, grab the five things you must do before you start a car rental business. Lots of good information in there. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.